hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I want to do something a bit different um, I would like to share a testimony with you guys this is something I would like to do on my channel every Sunday just to share my testimonies with you um, show you guys how good God has been in my life and hopefully my um, stories can inspire you guys to really take the gospel serious and to draw yourself closer to God. So let's get started. So this testimony is about when I was in school. Um, as we all know, in the US and Canada, school is very expensive, like it's expensive, okay? I did a uh, business administration, which I graduated from. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so anyways, I did business administration and my tuition was like 4,000 or something a year and I only had a part-time job so it was kind of hard to pay that by myself so what I did was I took an um, financial aid called OSAP in Canada which actually helps you um, pay your fees and then you have to pay them back once you're done by the way they sent me my letter already to pay back anyways <laughs> so usually so my first and second year no my first year I took the OSAP and a second year for my second semester, I got declined for OSAP. I wasn't sure why they declined me because it wasn't making no sense. Apparently, they made a mistake somewhere in the system. I don't know. But anyways, they declined my um, OSAP request. So I basically had to pay school all by myself. So I remember I had an open balance of, I believe, like 1600 to pay. So I paid the remainders, but I still had like... 1600 ish to pay off so I paid it with my credit card so now I had like debt on my credit card so um, yes I was working but obviously I wasn't making enough being in school full-time and having a part-time job wasn't gonna pay off my credit card for me so I remember there was a time where I literally didn't know what to do because I got a letter from my bank saying that I had to pay back this amount in a week and I knew I wasn't going to make that amount in a week so I was basically screwed. I am a type, I don't really uh, like asking my parents for money, so I didn't ask them, so I was just trying to do it on my own, and it was really hard, and I knew I wasn't gonna have enough. So fast forward, fast forward, fast forward to the Sunday. I had to pay it on Monday. So the Sunday before, I was like, okay, I'm dead. Like, tomorrow they are going to call me, and... So I just had in my head, like, you know what? I'm gonna have faith in God and something will just happen like I have faith I know he will not let me down like this something is gonna happen either they change my bill or I don't know something is going to happen so I just kept telling myself that then I truly believed that something was going to happen before the due date which was the next day it was around 6 p.m. I was home and then my dad was like oh you got a letter so it's like, oh my gosh, another bill. Like, I cannot deal with no bills no more at this time. Like, I'm already stressed out. So I got a letter, and I saw the letter, but it had no name or no tags. I was like, where's this strange letter coming from? So I got a letter. I was like, Ugh. I left it in my room first. Like, I didn't even open it. I just left it, went to take a shower, and then I just left it there. So the next day, I was like, I woke up. I was like, oh my gosh, today's the day. They are going to kill me. Like, I don't have their money. What am I going to do? So, I took a shower again and then got ready to go to school. And then I saw the letter on my desk. I was like, oh shit, this letter, I never opened it. So, I decided to open this letter and I kid you guys not. Like, I kid you not. I opened the letter, I look at it, and there's a check of $2,000. And I was like... Wait, what? So I was so confused and I started crying my eyes out. Like, literally, I just started crying. I was like, where did this money come from? Like, literally, where did it come from? And the way it just came at the right timing and it was just so weird. So I remember the letter had actually my school's name on it. So it said Humber and then the amount, so $2,000 or whatever. And I was like, what? Like, where is it coming from? So I called my school and they're like, um, we did not send you anything. I was like, okay. So then I called my bank. I was like, um, even though I needed the money, I still really wanted to know where it came from because I literally 
like it was weird i can't just accept money that randomly comes you know in my arms so i called the bank to see if they maybe made a mistake somewhere whatever so i called the bank and they were like uh miss there's no mistake this money is yours like we can't take it back because it's not ours it's yours so i was like oh my gosh like wow like literally i was speechless i couldn't believe that god actually came through on the same day or actually the day before but i saw the same day and then i grabbed the check so fast went to the bank so i went to the bank and i deposited the money straight ahead to the credit card and then i was debt free like it all happened so weird and i believe i strongly believe that this happened because i had so much faith and i just knew that god was going to come true for me like i knew he was not gonna let me down like i just knew it i just you know when you just know something you know that he's not gonna let you down and that's exactly what he did he came true for me so the whole moral of this story is it doesn't matter how hard your situation is what you're going through really believe in god and have faith like he will net not let you down he will not give you battles that he know you can fight like trust in him obey his word read your bible i have mine right here and as you can see it's a bit damaged that's how you know i use it a lot okay <laughs> so like you really just try and give it your all give god a chance i think you, we should all just give god a chance like even if you don't believe if you're an atheist or anything like that give god a chance for like let me say six months just give your all to him and try and see if that makes a difference in your life. And I guarantee you that it will make a difference in your life. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to see more of these types of videos. So like testimonies and all that. Please give my video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video.